France has hit back at Britain's Brexit fishing demands, with a strong ally of Emmanuel Macron telling Sky News that the common fisheries policy has been a success. France has refused to budge on its defiant hardline fisheries stance in the Brexit talks, as time runs out for a deal to be agreed. Natalie Loiso, a strong ally of Emmanuel Macron, told Sky News Sophie Ridge this morning that the European Union's common fisheries policy so far has been a success. When questioned whether it was right for British fishermen to have access to more fish, the French MEP responded, Why should we ruin something that works? A stunned Sophie Ridge responded, You can see why fishermen in Europe might think the common fisheries policy has worked, but, if you speak to British fishermen, they certainly don't think it has worked. They think their industry has been decimated because of it. Fishing remains of the biggest hurdles to a deal between Britain and the EU. With claims from Brussels that a deal is 95% complete. Ridge asked the French map. One of the main sticking points is fishing. Fishing is a big deal here in the UK, but also a big deal over in France. Isn't it right that British fishermen have access to more of fish in British waters after Brexit? Ms. Loiso responded. Nobody is denying that the waters are becoming British, but nobody forgets that the common fisheries policy so far has been a success. It has provided sustainable fishing and decent incomes on both sides. Why should we ruin something that works? Let us try to find a solution that is balanced and long term so fishermen on both sides don't suffer. She went on to add, we are not the only fishing member state in the European Union. Fisheries is a European policy. This is shared by all member states. It is not intended to hurt anyone. France has repeatedly warned they will block any agreement that doesn't preserve the interests of EU fishermen and UK waters. President Macron has already torpedoed a compromise offer put forward by Mr Barnier in a bid to break the deadlock. He has instead demanded the same level of access to the UK's fishing grounds after Brexit. However, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been adamant that Britain will become an independent coastal nation with the government controlling access to our waters. Frederick Cuvillier, the mayor of Boulogne, said more than 5,000 jobs in his region depend on fishing. It's worrying, but we have to keep hoping for an agreement. We need an appeal to reason. Olivier Lepreter, chairman of the Northern French Fishermen's Association, urged the two sides to broker a sensible compromise.